All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be flying a P, uh, JPS Logistics uh, Cessna 152, a freeware aircraft, and it has a max speed of 104, five hours of duration, 415 nautical miles, 14,000 feet. It has a max altitude. So let's go and check out what you get for free here. First off, it's almost... a uh, similar to the one that they give you it is pretty nice inside here i gotta give them credit for that also there's a functionality with the door opening pretty cool aircraft and it's free so that is another cool thing the window opens here which is uh we'll leave it open for the time beam and we're gonna um go ahead and prime the engine we're gonna put it on and start it up it does have a gps that's working as well for a freeware, I gotta say this has got to be um, definitely one of uh, one of my favorites, considering that it's free. All right, let's go ahead and put the mixture in, prop fully forward, crack the throttle. Let's yell clear, prop. I think, uh, yeah. The sound of this aircraft is awesome too. Oh, you know what? I forgot to turn on the fuel. So, where's the fuel pump? We primed it. I think there's... Is there a fuel pump on here? There may not be a fuel pump. We do have panel lighting, which is pretty cool. Uh, Alright, where is... You gotta turn on the fuel itself. Okay, there we go. And listen to that thing come alive, huh? Sounds good. It's definitely uh, beefy sounding. Just gotta turn on the ta landing light, taxi light. Strobe lights work. Flaps all the way down here. You got four different settings of flaps so the flaps work fantastic definitely um, pretty good functionality here I'm trying to see about the radios here You got to turn on the radios. I think it is currently raining too. So today we're just going to take this thing up for a flight and see how it handles. Let's get turn the brake off. Let's go start our taxi. Definitely taxis really nicely. We'll put one notch of flaps down here. I think we got a little bit of rain coming down. Let's go ahead and close this. Oops. It gets pretty quiet when you close it. Um, let's see. Does this... It's not currently working for the uh, autopilot, doesn't look like. But it is a freeware, so... We do have autopilot. I don't know if the autopilot actually works. We'll test that out right now. So I'm not going to waste too much time here because we're just going to pretty much take off right now. So let's go ahead and put throttle in. I'll put a little bit of right rudder in. Pretty smooth for the um, the way it feels. Now I'm putting left rudder as we come up here on 60 knots. Keep coming. Pull them back, and we're up. I'm going to trim the nose. 
It works very well, this aircraft. I have to say. Let's pull out. I'm pulling out the um, throttle here. That doesn't seem to be working, though. Uh oh. It's the carburetor heat. So we only have uh, basically the mixture and the fuel here. You can't really mess with the propeller. All right, let's go ahead up here. I think I did have uh, the autopilot work before. It doesn't seem like it's working now though. So I'm not 100% sure how the autopilot works. You might have to put it in manually. Yeah, that doesn't seem like it's active. All right, we're going to just turn back towards the airport here in a minute and uh, climb up. See how this thing handles in the stall. Let's get it above 1,000 feet here. We're starting to lose a little bit of altitude as we're climbing. Pretty nice aircraft for a freeware, though, i got to say. Set the altimeter. Not bad at all. The sounds are great too. Alright, 1,000 feet. We're going to continue to turn towards the airport here. So far so good. It handles very well. There's the airport, so we'll just follow the course here and continue to climb. Alright, let's put it into a stall. I'm just going to nose up here. Let's see how it handles in a stall. 60 knots. We got power on stall here. I want to put full power. Nose all the way up. It's starting to tilt the left wing. There it goes. Miami approach, Liberty, 757. 40 knots. Request Stall. To the left wing drop and the right wing came down first there. Pulling back on the power. Okay, that's 2,000 feet. We dropped Liberty, about 200 feet. Let's do power off stall now. See how it handles. There we go. Nose up, nose up, keeping the wings level. The nose is dropping, and the nose dropped. Okay. Putting some power back in. Handled pretty good. That handled pretty good. Wasn't bad at all. Let's try that again. We'll go turning stall. Let's see how that does. Nose down and the left wing drop. Well, that's unusual. Okay, so we had a little bit of a left wing drop. But this plane is not bad at all. I gotta say, let's see if the autopilot will work. Let's put it on heading mode and altitude hold. Is anything going to work? Let's find out. I don't think this autopilot works at all. Unfortunately. However, this is a really nice plane. It handles pretty good. It is a freeware, so, you know. What can you get out of a freeware, right? Let's turn back... Towards the airport here, we're going to land right there. I think we should be able to. I'm just going to take some power out now as we t turn. We're still a little bit high. 
We should be alright though. It's 1,000 feet, taking more power out here, trimming nose down. It handles very well, it's very responsive. Alright, put a notch of flaps in, and it's coming up on the nose. Notch of flaps again. Here we go. I'll leave a link um, to this freeware if I can find it for you guys, or at least uh, some information in the description below. If you guys want to go and check it out for yourselves. But uh, hey, it's not bad for freeware. You know, definitely a fun plane to cruise around in. Okay, taking some more power out. Another notch of flaps. Oh, that does not look like a runway. I guess um, we'll be landing on a taxiway. Oops. Well, I am a student pilot, right? At least we had a smooth landing. Not bad at all. Animation is a little bit wonky, but for a freeware, what do you expect, right? It's not too bad, though, overall. Park on the helicopter spot. It's not bad. Oh, well, there you have it. It's a pretty much regular Cessna. It just has a little bit more features than we're used to. Uh, for freeware, that's not a bad aircraft at all. I'll definitely leave a link for you guys um, in the description. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is the aircraft here, the Cessna 152. Usually they use this for training purposes for new pilots so there you go thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed it and uh yeah see you in the next one peace